So at this point, I'm crunching the numbers. I'm doing the math in my head. So I'm studying up on the art of war. I'm ready. I'm ready for war. Oh! So today I started a Minecraft SMP with all of my friends playing the brand new Minecraft 1.20 update, Trails and Tales, Tales and Trails, Trails and t t t the update. And this is how my first couple of days went. So at this point, I think we all know how to start a Minecraft world. You gotta chop with some wood. So me and Ray found this dope cave right next to spawn. And I'm not gonna lie, the temptation to push her off was so strong, but I didn't. I resisted. I resisted. So we took care of our first couple crafts to get ready for our adventures. First zombie, first kill, first carrot, first coal, first iron. It's an episode full of firsts. I started to panic, nighttime was coming quick, so I found these sheep, took all their clothes. What? It sounds weird. And then I made a bed. And that's day one survived. Only 99 more to go. I'm just playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. This creeper decided he just didn't want to listen to the way that the game's supposed to work. Like, he was so far, this is so far. So the major thing I needed to solve before I could go caving was food. I had, I had nothing. But then, I found this great village, stole all their food. They're all starving now, but I'm not. And that was day 76 of our 100 day hardcore survival Minecraft roleplay, let's play. I stole every single resource this village has to offer. To be honest, I, I really set them back a couple hundred years. I even took their bell. So I decided I was going to save Spawn Village. I found all these animals and I put them in a hole. That's what you do. Now that I've made all these stackies, I decided to celebrate. So seeing the baby sheep in the hole kind of made me feel bad as a person, made me regret my life's decisions, so I decided to make them a little bit bigger of a pen so they could at least stretch a little bit, but not too much. Oh, son of a b He just shot my sheep, you little- I'm just sitting there minding my business, right? And all of a sudden, this dude comes right up on me. Looking like a Navy Seal Sniper, Prime Technoblade, giving me flashbacks to Minecraft Ultimate, just comes out here whammy smacking me, he's destroying me, giving me the smackdown. So I, I had to take a breather. So I've recomposed, I'm ready to attack, I go in, I'm shimmying, I'm shamming. It, 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 it's not working, he's a god. So at this point, I'm crunching the numbers, I'm doing the math in my head. So I'm studying up on the art of war. I'm ready. I'm ready for war. Oh! Alright, he won round one, but there's no way! There's no way he's winning round two. After I gave this man the smackdown of his life, I took his chest plate. Obviously, this dude's cousin wasn't too impressed with my highlight kill, so uh... Well, and I'm not gonna lie, I may have taken my anger out a little bit on these sheep and these pigs, but you know what? It's a fair warning. So I think I'm finally ready to go into the caves. And to be honest, I haven't caved too much with since the new updates, so uh, this was all kind of a new experience for me. So it was more just kind of the Minecraft 1.20 update I was playing around with for the first time. And these this cave generation's insane. Like, I mean, look at look at this. How am I supposed to feel comfortable bridging across this big? You, you know, I did it. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. And you know, just when you're starting to get comfortable, the lag kicks in. This dude came up, smacked me like 24 times in the matter of two seconds. I panicked, man. I panicked. So obviously the goal down here is to get as much like resources as possible. I'm looking for iron armor. Then all of a sudden these three goons just pull up on me. Remind me of my old Twitter days. Reminds me of my old drama days. And these guys are just out here trying to cancel me. Like shooting me, shooting me. And then and then they turn on each other. You know, like a normal Twitter user does. And then they, they bicker back and forth in your mentions. And then eventually they, you know, they remember what they're fighting for. And they come back at you. Am I talking about skeletons? Or what, what am I talking about? Ah, uh, yes. The world's stupidest mob. Iceology for life. So, obviously that comment didn't go over well and I'm getting cancelled all over again on Twitter and these dudes are coming and attacking me and then and then this guy jump scares you like the one guy that comes into your mention and actually makes a good point in the argument and you're like, whoa, how do I actually defend that? And then, why do I keep talking about Twitter? I gotta stop talking about Twitter, man. 
So then I have flashbacks to earlier in the episode when these dudes just keep on shooting and shooting and shooting and they keep on... Oh, but I'm okay. I live, I live. But at this point, man, I'm done. I'm making iron armor. I don't even care. <gasps> Diamonds! Yup, that's right, our first three diamonds on the server. And obviously I want to keep finding more diamonds, but look at this place and tell me if you're going over there looking for diamonds. Not me. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, give me out, 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 give me out. Give me out, give me out, give me out. So after changing my pants, I decided it's probably time for a new strategy here so we found a mine shaft and we went ahead and went in that and we dove deeper into the mine shaft and uh, i found all this cool loot ray found none of it i found all of it ah oh, diamonds so unfortunately only two diamonds here but you know we take what we can get so we've been mining for so long we actually eventually loop back towards the entrance at the very very bottom of the cave and at this point we've been mining for like four or five hours so I'm I'm done with it so we, we head back and this is about what we ended up with together so we split this about 50 50 and and it's not too bad for my first time caving in this update so after going through pretty much all my food caving I realized I need a bigger farm so that's exactly what we started working on it found this little waterfall extended it made a little pond And then made streams come throughout the land. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. And then I had so much fun digging my first pond. That I decided I needed a second one. So I, 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 I made a second pond. And then I went and added these little cherry bridges because, well, they, I don't know, they look cool. So yeah, that's kind of how my first couple days here on the server went. Um, as you can see, I, I finished up the farm, I got a lot of stuff planted in here. Uh, still not fully done, obviously. I still got a lot more I got to plan, but we're, we're getting there. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, we still got a couple fields that are empty, but I think everything's looking really cool overall. And uh, this should hopefully solve all the food problems that we've been having. And I, I, the thing I really like about this farm is that these bees that are just kind of naturally spawning here, they, they help with the farm. That's really cool. I've not really been playing too much with the bees before. So it's really cool to see them like actually help out with everything over there. So uh, I've, I've been really happy with that. Um, but anyways, this is the starter home area that I've chosen. And this whole uh, like cherry grove biome is just all around it. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, so I'm going to build a little house here. Um, probably more in that area where the cows are. Or maybe up closer to the ledge. I'm not too sure yet. I, I like the idea of having the view of the lake. Uh, but as you can see, I've collected tons of these pink petals and the cherry blossoms. Like These pink petals are just everywhere, clearing that whole place. I just got tons of them. And I'm going to make a spawn home here. And then I'm going to go out a little further and I'm going to make like a, a actual proper base with farms and all that fun stuff. But I want to play around here in the cherry biome first. Our food situation is going to be looking pretty good. I feel like we've solved that now. Um, between the farm and the, those cows that are over there. It's probably been the biggest issue on the server so far for me is the food. Uh, we're playing hardcore. Hardcore. No, we're not. Uh, but this looks like it's the start of Ray's house. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we got a wandering trader out here. Nice. She's... Where, where's your master? Did she kill him? You can tell me the truth. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's looking pretty good though. I like her house so far. I gave her this bed. 
So that's my contribution. Uh, I was thinking next up, we actually build our starter house. I might go do some planning in the creative world just because I'm not a very good builder. And then before I actually started to build, I realized, hey, you might want some materials for that. So I went and collected some materials. So I messed around for a few hours trying to come up with my own design and I, I hated every single one of them. Literally every single one of them. So I'm gonna do what any Minecraft YouTuber would do. Steal! Thank you to Disruptive Builds for the tutorial. I'll link it down below. So it's real simple to build a house, right? You just place a couple blocks, put some here, put some more blocks over there and then you know put some more blocks here and well okay i'm following a tutorial all right so yeah i'm doing my best And about four hours in, I'm starting to lose my mind. Like, I'm struggling to follow the tutorial. All the blocks are all just becoming jumbled in my inventory. It, it's, it's all a mess. But like John Cena says, never give up. That's what we did. We made it through. Uh, and all we had to do now was clean up our gigantic mess that we made trying to build this thing. And this was our final product that we ended up with. It, it's really beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. And boom, there you have it. That's a build. Yep, we did it. Man, I, you know what? Even following a tutorial, I, I learned I still can't build. It's so difficult. I don't know how people... Like, I can build basic things. All right, this is not basic. This is complicated for me. But, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a good time somewhat doing it. I think the tutorials are actually really going to help me build on my own. I forgot to sign up there. That's irritating. I think the tutorials are going to help me build uh, a lot better over time as well. Like, I learned a lot, actually, just, like, with these trap doors and the archways and stuff. Even though it kept annoying me that I had to keep going and making more trap doors. I should have followed the, t uh, the build list at the start, but you know what? We ignore those things. But it's looking pretty good. Obviously, it has no windows in it. There's still blocks that are missing, like, there. Uh, but we'll get to that off-camera, probably, and then next episode I'll have a nice interior. 
Because right now it's it's not much of a home. You know, it's this is not much of a stable. But you know, we're we're gonna work on it later, okay? And I think next time I wanna go look for some like trail ruins or whatever they call them. It's supposed to be like an old city or something. I'm I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm gonna get my Indiana Jones on, and uh, we're gonna go excavating next episode. So if you wanna see that? Make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you for watching.